Hello, hello. Well, Fack, how are you? Angela Wolf here, and I'm really live. I'm really live, and there's volume this week. I so apologize for last week. You know, the best intentions, but sometimes technology isn't my best friend some days. <laughs> so I was watching the same show from the airplane, which I couldn't change anything. And I was like, there's no sound on this. Where'd all the sound go? Well, I was with you. There was no sound. But, you know, I have to say, you guys are pretty good troopers. Because I think, if I did the math right, there was a little over 200 that watched the entire show with no sound. <laughs> we just hung out in the chat and said hello. So, uh, welcome everyone. I've got a fun show for you today and a fabulous surprise guest. Well, it's not really a surprise. I kind of put his photo right on the cover of the live show. And I saw some of you saying, who's the guy in the back? <laughs> the photo bomber, the photo bomber. So we've got a lot of exciting things today. First off, I just want to give you a quick reminder because there wasn't a lot of sound last week. Some of you had asked about what's going on with this pattern. This was the one that was supposed to be at Road to California, if you recall. And because Road to California is a no-go for moi, I'm doing this pattern for the Fashion Sewing Club. So it's the traveling tank, traveling traveling dress, which you might need if you're going on a little vacation. It could be a workout top. It could be any of those things. Anyways, this starts officially in two weeks. You have to be a member of the Fashion Sewing Club if you want to take it for free. Otherwise, later on, it'll be a class and a pattern that you can just pay for. So Fashion Sewing Club members, they're going to be all excited. That's coming and it launches in two weeks. So that's cool. And what's today? Well, let's think. Today is the 11th, uh, the Sew Expo, Sewing and Stitchery Expo in Puyallup, which we're all super excited about. The class is open today. So here's a quick rundown. You know what booth I'm going to be in, Kai Scissors, and that's who's joining us today. Devin is sitting behind stage, so I'm going to make this very quick. So these are the classes. Every morning from 8 to 1030, it's the same class because it's limited in space. So when I talked to Ann, she recommended doing it Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So it's designing custom fabrics and embroidery with applique. So if you have ever wanted to do all the techniques I show with the quilting and the embroidery and the couching and all the different techniques to make your fabric look unique, you're going to love this class. It's going to be in the brother classroom, of course, using some of the best brother machines. Uh, and it's limited in size because it's, you have your own machine. So that's every morning, 8 to 1030. Uh, it's the same class each morning. I mean, if you want to hang out three days, it's going to it's going to be like Groundhog Day. But <laughs> there you go. And then on, let's see, the third. So that would be Friday, I believe. Embellish Fabrics and Applique, which is just a 45 minute class for those that can't fit into the other ones. It's at least a rundown of what some techniques that I do. That's uh, from. Did I write it down? It got moved. 130. 1.30 uh, during that time. It's a 45-minute class because we have to make room for our giveaways. And then on Saturday, there's one more class that's a little bit more, of, I think it's like two hours long. It's a pattern hack, the princess seam jacket. It's similar to what we do in the Fashion Sewing Club, but a little more detailed just for princess seam jackets. And you're going to make a lot of pattern hacks. You'll get the little patterns. You're going to cut and paste and do all those yourself. And that is from 2.30 to 4. So today's the sign up. Don't forget. All right? I cannot wait to see you all there, too. But let's not go any further without bringing our special, special guest in. You all know Devin from Kai Scissors. And speaking of the 11th, Devin, yeah. hello, hello. Hello, hello. Yeah, it's our, our boss's birthday. <laughs> our boss's birthday. Woohoo! My... Happy birthday, Jeff. Happy yeah. birthday. Hopefully he'll get <laughs> later. He's, uh, he's flying planes in his spare time so he's off doing that today he's up well he's probably the only one flying since they grounded all the yeah. flights until 9 a.m today so kudos yeah. to you Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly I, i'm he was stuck out on one of the islands out here so i know he has to fly at some point today <laughs> <laughs> so if you're watching everyone's saying hi jeff we would sing you happy birthday i should bring monica up to bring you happy birthday mm -hmm. sing you have to her him happy birthday she's got a fabulous voice but jeff in the meantime Hopefully you get off the ground. <laughs> All right, Devin, you got the whole wolf pack rolling in here. Uh, nice. As you know, you were the photo bomber of the year. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm everybody has happy. been asking, what's I'm going on with the Kai Scissors booth? What is the Sew Expo? And first of all, uh, everyone, 
We need to give Devin and Jeff a big round of applause because they are the ones bringing me out there. So if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be going. Yeah. Well, thank, thank you, Devin. <laughs> yeah, we're glad you're coming. I mean, it's a big deal for us too. I mean, <laughs> we, I we, love it. We, you got to follow him. <laughs> and also, in case you didn't know, mm -hmm. uh, all of you watching, you know, I've been talking about Made It Myself TV. It's the new, the new channel coming out and my new show, Fabric to Fashion. Well, you can also give Devin a round of applause because they're sponsoring the show as well. So thank you so much uh, for making this show just going to be so much fun. I'll keep you posted on that, Devin, because uh, we haven't officially launched it yet. It's going to be in February. Do you know what? We got a prime time position Thursday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Wow, that's pretty awesome. Oh, that'll, be <laughs> leaving, that'll be when you're leaving work. You're going to have to either leave early. Wait, what uh, What time Eastern, you say? Eight. Eight. Okay, I'll be home by then. I get home. We leave here around four, so. Okay, well, just tell, tell Jeff you guys have to leave at noon to make sure you got popcorn and you're ready to watch. <laughs> Okay, everybody's saying hi to you. We have yeah, a lot of that. a lot of things for you. Um, a couple of things. Mm -hmm. There's a big discussion. Uh, first of all, everyone loves Kai Scissors. So everyone hit the like button right now so Devin can feel the love. Or you can hit the heart. That's even better. But I have used Kai forever and ever and ever. And now Devin is doing the magic of putting the Angel Wolf logo on these. Uh, we've got all different colors, different kinds. Oh, look at that. That's my favorite pair. Hold that one up again, oh, Devin. Sorry. That's the biggest. Oh, yeah. Two-tone to it, too, which is nice. But, yeah. It looks great. Um, so, so, yeah. Serrated scissors. Serrated. <laughs> so, this is the big discussion we've been having. Well, first of all, and you might not know this. I know Jeff was on, but I don't know if you were on this. When my first experience with Kai Scissors was I won a fashion design contest in 2008. That's a long time ago. Wowzer. Yeah, really long. And they had a pair of Kai scissors in the bag. And I was like, oh, yeah, whatever. And I used them for the whole year, cutting wrapping paper, paper. I did not know. That, yeah. Like, I didn't know who Kai was. I didn't even know what the name brand was. I just knew that my orange scissors, nobody touched. <laughs> that was like the rule <laughs> since I was growing up. So all of a sudden, the next year at the show, I had a nice big display, stopped by the Kai Scissors booth and looked at the price of the scissors. And I was like, oh, I think those are better than paper scissors. <laughs> but yeah. not only that, I started using the same pair that I used on paper that whole year. And it still cuts beautifully. Now, I would not recommend doing that, but it was perfect. And ever since, uh, my whole collection is all Kai's now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I did not know that story. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, that's the story. Yeah, and the, the only other one is my husband. I caught him using this pair in particular for cutting his uh, wires on his boat when he was renovating. Yeah. So he has his own pair. And then <laughs> all of his fishing buddies have the same pair because they say it's the best scissors around to cut fishing lines. So there you go. Well, thank you. Yeah. I was going to say, I hear that story, um, at, being that I work at the booth, <laughs> I hear that story a lot where people are like, I got the scissors from somebody, had no idea what they were, and they turned out to be the best thing ever. And I'm like, man, you got some great friends. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. In fact, every time I have uh, events here at my studio, I find a different unique pair that you have and give them as a gift because if you haven't tried the scissors, you don't even realize how good they are. Uh, so there's a big discussion, though. What is the difference between serrated scissors and just regular scissors? And a lot of people say, well, I don't get it. Um, what is the difference? Well, I my personal thing is the serrated. It just captures that fabric like yeah. it's awesome. But yeah. you have probably a more technical. I'm like this, Pac-Man. It's yeah, like yeah, the yeah. best scissors <laughs> ever. I'm sure you have a more technical answer for that. <laughs> um, so brought the scissors for that reason. Um, so there's a few things going on, right? Um, uh, first, we don't want to confuse it with serrated, uh, serrated with um, pinking. A lot of people, when they hear serration, they think pinking, um, but you'll see this is still a straight blade, but on the edge, I don't know if we can catch it on here. There's just a little tiny groove uh, across the entire blade. I don't know if we're going to quite. Oh, yeah. You can uh, just see it. But yeah, so what that groove is doing is basically creating little pockets for threads to get caught. Um, it's super, super helpful with fabrics that like to get away from you. You're cutting, you know, your satins, your silks, your wools. 
um, that want to push out of that scissor, those little tiny grooves are just going to catch it. It's still going to be a straight cut. Um, and it's just going to give you better control. So a lot of times when you're doing curves on something like that, it feels like it's getting away and you're lost and you're, you're not hitting your line like you want to. Um, it will slow down the cut a little bit just because of that kind of clicky feel you get from it. But with that, you get a lot more control and, and consistency with your cuts. Um, I wouldn't say it's for everybody. Um, lots of people like that smooth feeling, especially with some of our, our scissors. Um, and if you're cutting things like cottons and sticking with cottons almost exclusively, um, you'll be happy with a smooth blade. Um, and even it'll be easier to have it sharpened if you ever need to have that. But with a to blade, it's just going to give you that control and that consistent cut and, uh, and just give you a better return on some of those tough materials. It's such a game changer. And, you know, I'm not a scissor expertise by any chance. In fact, I almost got kicked out of your booth, remember? <laughs> 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 Not literally. <laughs> so, <laughs> <have> to do it. <laughs> <laughs> so you all appreciate this because I'm sure she's not watching. And if she is, she's probably laughing with me. But I was in the booth with them. And you know how many pairs of scissors they have in their booth? Oh, my gosh. The booth is huge. And I wouldn't say a million because that's exaggerated. But you have a ton of scissors. Yeah, upward of 100 different kinds. Yeah. Yeah. So like I hardly know my 10 kind that my 10 pairs that I use and the, you know, I know I use them. I know I love them, but I don't know the technicalities of a lot of them. And I, there was somebody, I won't say who it was because I really didn't know who it was, but stopped up at the booth and asked, I was standing back there and asked me a few questions. And I was like, I'll find an answer for you. I have no idea. Let's grab somebody. <laughs> she looked at me and she's like, I, well, I won't repeat the whole thing, but it was like, what are you doing there? Yeah, exactly. Why don't we talk to somebody else? Yeah. <laughs> oh, gosh, I just had to chuckle. That was so funny. Yeah. Um, but I didn't get fired. I'm back. No, exactly. <laughs> Everyone's saying that you have the best. You stand behind your product big time. And that yeah. is so true as well. I say we don't have any like formal, like uh, people always want to ask what our um, guarantee is. We don't have any formal guarantees or, or um, anything like that, but we have, I mean, we have customer service, right? You call us, you tell us you got your scissors a couple months ago and they're already giving you problems. Go ahead and send them in for free sharpening. Or if we need to, we can get you out a new pair, depending on what it is. Just, you know, we don't, <laughs> it's, it's not worth heckling or, or fighting over. We want to make sure we have a happy customer. So we just take care of it. That's kind of our, our stance on that. So. Well, I know that I had a pair and I think I cut, we were cutting samples. I want to say we cut 400 pairs of jeans, many, many pairs of jeans with one pair of scissors and they were still sharp. But How's then a year it? later, they started to not cut quite as much. And I sent them back to you and they were perfect and brought them back. Now, I don't think I shared with you that I cut 400 pairs of jeans, yeah, but <laughs> guess what? It worked. <laughs> I'm gonna say, yeah, we can strap it in, no problem. <laughs> I, should, I should mention you can if you have someone local, because we are out in Washington and not everybody's out here. If you have someone local that's good at sharpening, uh, someone that's well known in the industry or in your area, send them to them. They can do it. There's nothing special about doing it. <laughs> Karina, Karina, you're gonna have to get Tom a pair of Kai's. Don't let him touch those Kai scissors you got at my studio. That's all I have to say. So, by the way, in case you guys are wondering, as you're leaving your comments of how much you enjoy Kai scissors. I love the little scissor icons you're doing. I'm collecting your names because we're going to do a giveaway that you have to be live for at the end of the show. So um, keep every comment going right into the little ding, ding, ding. Can you hear that? <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay. So a couple of things. Um, Linda up here, if I can find her name again, what do you have for lefties? Do you have any scissors for lefties? Yeah. So I actually am a lefty myself. Uh, so I, I will say I'm a little disappointed in how many options we have, uh, but let me start with this. On the smaller side, all these little guys to medium guys um, that you kind of refer to as scissors instead of shears, all those guys have ambidextrous handles. The blades are going to work uh, with either hand. You just don't have it where the blades actually swap sides. Um, and for those of you guys who are wondering, what does that even mean? Um, for a right-handed person, when you cut, the blades on the inside, you can see where you're cutting. When you do that for a lefty, now all of a sudden that top blade is blocking your view. Um, and so we have a couple pairs where we've actually got the blades swapped. 
Um, we have an eight inch, it's called the 5210L, 5210L. And that guy is a true lefty. Uh, then we also have the 5220L, and that guy is a fakey lefty. So we got a left-handed handle on a right-handed pair of scissors. Um, the idea behind that is for people that have been using right-handed scissors the whole life, they have an option that fits their hand, but uh, is still what they're used to using. And then the last one is um, this size, the 7250L. Um, it's a true lefty as well. So the handles are swapped as well as the blades. So, yeah. Nice. That's Those are good options, though. And now you all know why I don't can't remember all their scissors. He just did all those right off the top of his yeah. head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And like I said, I mean, there's three three options there that are made for lefties and then a bunch of little ones that are made for or for anybody kind of. But but yeah, that's only that's only three. And I feel bad about it because we have so many other options on the right handed sides. Yeah. Well, at least there's a few. So there you yeah. go, Linda. Evelyn wants to know, are you going to be at the show in Florida? We will not. Um, being that it's so close to So Expo, uh, we can't really make that work. Uh, I would love to go. I have family that live down there, and I am kind of desperate to get down to the show out there. But yeah, just with being in Puyallup and the show being here, it's probably not going to happen anytime soon unless dates kind of change on that. Yeah, that's very close. I was thinking the same thing. Um, so, But he will be a road. I, I won't be, but you will be. And so you can go by his booth there. Um, talk about road. <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, we're not. <laughs> but yeah, See, you know, Devin, Devin knows what's going on. So yeah. Well, I'll say it in your benefit for those that are going to be there. They at least can come and see you. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. We'll be there. have a 20 foot booth, have my usual gals that work with me at that show. Um, so yeah, if you've seen us before, we'll be, I think in the same spot. So yeah. That's awesome. Do you have, um, somebody asked us the other day, do you have pinking shears? We do have pinking shears. We have one pair. It's a nine inch. Um, and unfortunately for the lefties, it is specifically designed for right-handed hands. So uh, not very comfortable for a lefty, but yes, fantastic pinking shears. Each one of those, um, I would say about half of them, I personally check. The other half, uh, Chris checks, who typically you'll get on the phone if you call here. Um, so those are all hand checked. And then we got a box of ones that don't work very well. So if, if, it, if it's getting sent out to you, it's been checked, it should work great for you. There you go. Awesome for cuddle fabric. I agree. Mm -hmm. So um, I don't know. I don't know if I've ever talked about this with you, but my huge pair, which is over back on my table, I use that huge pair all the time. I mean, they're like the best scissors ever. And when I was cutting faux fur, we were just talking about this last night with the American Sewing Guild group. Mm -hmm. I would take that huge pair and I open it like that far. Yeah. You can see that it's like that far. Yeah. And put that on the, the back side of the fabric and just the scissors are like a razor blade. I'm not really good at razor blades. I mean, I can't, I, I heck, I cut my legs shaving. So I don't want a razor blade in my studio with a bunch of fabric. So I got these scissors. And when you put that in a tricky fabric, it just slides. Now the serrated are different. They're more like this. Exactly. But I mean, once you get used to the different kinds of scissors and also, Devin, I don't know if you held those up. Is it this pair here that have a different way the handle goes? which makes it much easier to cut fabric because of the angle of the handle. It's flat. Yeah, did not, pull, did not, did not hold up, guys, but yeah. So yeah. that looks like a three, two, one, zero. But anyway. <laughs> we need to have like trivia pursuit with the wolf pack. <laughs> I say the handle actually looks a little big. I think it might be a 5220 uh, knife edge on that one particular one. But if you wouldn't, regular person wouldn't be able to find that. Oh my gosh, you got it. It is a 5220 knife edge. Yeah. Bingo. Just, <laughs> on the website anymore. We got just the serrated versions of those. So. <laughs> oh gosh. Hey, Robin. Actually, Robin, I would need to email you. I just found something of yours today. Uh, Robin mm -hmm. says, do you ship over there? Um, well, if you need scissors sharpened over there, you must be able to find somebody. In Australia? So yeah, the serrated one is, is tricky. There's a um, the factories have their own way of doing it. They got a big wheel that comes down and, and grinds oh. it instantly, super quick. Uh, for us that are doing it, you know, after the fact, we have a wheel, a wheel called the corrugator, because um, mm -hmm. technically it is corrugating the blade, not serrating, but serrating sounds nicer. <laughs> um, <laughs> but anyway, so uh, it takes that special wheel. Um, so you just have to check with your local sharpeners um, to see if they if they have that um, or any way to to do serration. Um, a lot of times you can get away with sharpening just the smooth blade. So 
like I was showing before, there's a serrated blade here, but then the top, or I guess on this one, sorry, the bottom blade is smooth. Um, so if you, you can try and get away with just sharpening that bottom blade, if you are really intent on keeping that serrated edge. Um, but yeah, hopefully a sharpener around you should have it. I mean, it's a growing in industry. Um, I mean, we're definitely not the only people that have serrated blades anymore. So I wouldn't be surprised if you can find it somewhere. Uh, just not everywhere. <laughs> you know, um, my friend that owns a fishing shop down here, tackle shop, uh, they have a guy that comes in twice a year to sharpen blades of like the, the knife blades yeah. cleaning fish. Um, I never asked him if he would do scissors. Hmm. Yeah, uh, he, he probably could. The, the thing about people that sharpen knives that they don't think about with scissors is when you sharpen a knife, you want to make it as smooth as possible, right? You want that blade just to be pristine uh, with a scissor blade you actually need a little bit of roughness so if if we took our regular scissors and made it super smooth put a polished blade or edge on both sides that's going to want to push the fabric out you need something to catch the fabric a little bit and the serration is just an exaggeration of that that's that would make sense all right i'll just keep sending it to you <laughs> <laughs> everyone's saying they love your scissors celeste has a question i need a good pair of scissors to cut applique and reverse applique with recommendations. Oh, yeah. I should have brought them in here. Dang. <laughs> I, have, I have them. Hold on. Well, okay. first of all, this little I use this little pair here for mm -hmm. that, but there's even a smaller pair. This is the um, V5165. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love these. And you get this is what I gave in my class last time with Angela Flogo. But there's a smaller pair. Hold on. I'll go find them. I think well, they're. <laughs> Let's say if you're looking for the pink one, that guy's a V5135, uh, a little bit smaller. And then if you're doing it in a hoop, we have one, it's called a 5130 uh, double curve. And basically it bends down and then away from your project. Um, so that way, if you're working in a hoop, you can get over that edge and then away from your project. So you're not going to poke into it. But, yeah. This so. is another pair I like. This is mostly for embroidery. I can't find that little itsy bitsy pair. Oh, this is what I get for cleaning. Yeah. <laughs> I'll find it. Like it's been, a, it's been a I got back from vacation uh Monday, Devin, and I think somebody broke into my studio because I'll tell you what, it's nice. <laughs> it looked like it looked like a bomb hit. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you sure that wasn't you? <laughs> <laughs> Never. Okay, this pair right here, this curve, yeah, here slightly go. curved here. This works for um, not really thick applique, but yeah. for embroidery. And for, uh, see how it's bent like this. I love this pair of scissors. There's also a tiny pair that's a straight edge that I like, but this one, I just love. Are you looking, are you looking for this little guy or are you looking for a little bit bigger? That one, that one. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, Let me I'll bring you up. Hold on. Gotcha. That so, one, that's it. Oop, let's see if we get the number. It's 5100 is that. And then we also have one that's got a little curve up. It's 5100C. That's it. That's it. You uh, see, another one you have to remember. So, by the way, I do not have all these scissors on my website. Kai has her own website. Mm -hmm. Kai scissors. Scissors. Yeah. And I do have a handful, like the big ones and some of these on my website. I did make a discount code for you uh, on my website if you want the Angelo of scissors. Devin is the one that does the magic on that. Yeah. So, let me just give you the discount code real quick. It is capital. Oh, this is real ingenious. <laughs> Capital Kai 15 and Fashion Sewing Club. You've got a special discount in the Fashion Sewing Club for Kai Scissors on their website, too. So uh, just so you know that. And also, Devin said that they're going to do something special at Puyallup, which would be very exciting. A couple things. Yeah. So um, first, I wanted to highlight just that our booth is moved a little bit. Oh, hi, Lisa. I know Lisa. Um, yeah. I was going to say, our booth has moved. Um, so typically, we're um, right across from Baby Lock. Um, they have an end cap and we have, you know, three rows or three spots there. Um, but this year they asked to swap us. So we're actually going to have that big end cap. Uh, this is a stretch for us. We, <laughs> we've never filled that much table space before. Um, so anyway, yeah, we're right in the middle of the big show. Um, 
in, in the very center on an end cap in the middle. Um, so shouldn't be able to miss us. <laughs> uh, but yeah, at that at, at, at the show, um, it goes from what, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Uh, we're going to do a little giveaway um, on Thursday, Friday. Uh, sorry, it goes Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We'll do it on Thursday, Friday, Saturday for the giveaway. Um, so Thursday at 4, Friday at 4, and Saturday at 4.30, just because Angela's got a little class or something. Um, yep. We'll so yeah, four four and four thirty. Um, you can come on by. Um, I know that I haven't really talked with Jeff about this, uh, but I, I know his his way of doing things, and we'll be giving away a couple um, professional gift sets, um, and uh, and probably a couple other individual scissors as well, just to make it worth your while to come out. So. Oh my gosh! So yeah, this is how their booth works. Like we're giving away two sets of scissors, and you show up, and then Jeff gave away like half the booth. <laughs> it was like. <laughs> Stop. So we, we just kept going. Yeah. <laughs> but we, we only did it one day that, that, you know, it was only a one time thing last year, last time. So <laughs> we'll limit ourselves per day. <laughs> I'll check to see what he had for lunch that way, that day, Wolfpack. And we'll make sure. Yeah. But it's so much fun. Not only that, though, uh, Wolfpack, Wolfpack meet and greet, which I know a lot of you like to get photos together, say hi. The booth is huge, so there'll be plenty of room for us to gather and then um, say hi, meet your fellow sewing friends. The wolf pack, which is so much fun. Uh, I, I, I was going through photos, Devin, from the last time we were together there. That was when COVID hit, 2020 of March. Yeah. And the photos, one of the dealers or one of the uh, sales reps from Brother had taken some photos. And he was standing, I mean, he was way back there yeah. Yeah. taking photos of all of us. And... I mean, there were hundreds of people at your booth. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I, said, I mean, you bring I up. Said, what you do? Like, hand out free tickets. But as I walked around, I, I recognized like ninety percent of the people. It was like the Wolf Pack was huge there. It was amazing. It was. It's pretty cool. I mean, it's pretty. I think it's the biggest show and the best, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's big for us. I mean, just because we've been out here for so long, um, and. And been doing it out here for so long people have, have known us whereas if we go east coast man we have a big fall off as far as many uh people knowing who we are i have to tell people oh, we're kai scissors we've been around for 30 plus years uh <laughs> you know we've <laughs> we've been doing this how, how do you not know who we are yet but you know <laughs> humbling. let's just put it that way <laughs> well the good news is i have a lot of fans on here from the east coast so you all have to when he goes to a show make sure you show up and give him the love so he doesn't feel <laughs> Yeah. I'll, Everyone I'll, be, I'll, be in Atlanta. Atlanta. I'll be in Atlanta in February for a quilt con. So, <laughs> you know, I'll be there too. Oh yeah. All right. It's a secret, but I just let it out accidentally. Okay. <laughs> it's not really a secret. <laughs> so you all know Mel and Dana. Uh, they are bringing me out. They're actually moving their store. So this is sewingmachines.com. They are moving their store to a new location. So anyone who's looking for a good deal in Atlanta right now, I don't know if they've officially moved all the way yet, but you'll definitely want to go stop by there. They're moving to a new store and they're bringing me out to QuiltCon. And uh, we haven't figured out all the details yet, but it's going to be fun stuff at the booth too. So uh, so I guess we have to bring the wolf pack there too, Devin. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sounds good. <laughs> I'll be there. Everyone's saying, thank you, thank you. I did miss a couple of questions. Uh, let me go back up here. Um, so we got you, Celeste. Marsha, we did talk about sharpening and Rosie wants to know, do you make rotary blades? I do. That is uh, one of the things when people come to the show, they're like, Oh, I didn't realize you made rotary blades. When did you start doing that? We've been doing it forever. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we have a 28 millimeter, 45 millimeter and 60 millimeter blades and then cutters for each of those as well. So yeah. yeah so you have all, everyone that came to my studio, those were all, those are all Kai scissors or Kai rotary cutters. And you've seen me use them on the live shows, the blue ones. Yeah. I also have a pink one, a couple of pink ones yeah. that are smaller. I say, man, you got, you got all the stuff that's going on, that's going away. <laughs> Uh-oh. You're getting say, rid of pink? Don't ever get rid of pink. <laughs> so the, the pink, I think that pink one, I'm thinking right. I think that one was a, um, I think it was a, a promo. Yeah. I was going to say it was a promo from Kai for us that they just gave to us. Um, to kind of show off, show off the line, but yeah, we have haven't gotten any more of those, and I believe we're out now. So, oh, we need we need to talk about that. We need Angela Wolf Pink Kai Rotary <laughs> Cutter Kai Secret Kai Collection Start a Museum. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, do you have pink pink 
Oh, I'm sorry, Arnell. Yes, they do have pinking shears. I thought you said pink pinking shears. I'm like, Arnell, you don't like pink. You want purple. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, 5350 is the number for the pinking shears. There you go. Hey, Jennifer, great to see you. Ooh, All right, funny. as you're rolling your comments in, we are going to have a giveaway at the end. So uh, keep it rolling. Everyone's saying, love it, love it. Oh, Christmas present Beverly got. Nice. <laughs> ding, ding. Okay. All right, any other... I was going to say, the fun thing about seeing people saying that they got your logo is that I know I did it. <laughs> yeah, so so this was such a fun thing. I remember talking to you and Jeff a while ago, and I was like, I just want some things with my logo to make them a little more special because, you know, some people had asked for it, and I thought it would look cool. Yeah. Uh, but then actually people were like, that's really cool. I want that, which is an honor, so thank you. But yeah. um, I think it's the Kai Scissors is the best. But having a little logo is just a little ching. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it just it's this, this is my group. This is what I hang out with. <laughs> yeah, these are this is the wolf pack. All right, let's see. Everyone say you have to look for those scissors. Oh, whoa, <laughs> what? Uh, what? How do you see that hat? <laughs> <laughs> I live I lived in North Carolina, so uh <laughs> oh my <laughs> goodness gracious. I went I went to NC State, which is even That's funnier. Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So the wolf pack was already ingrained in me and yeah. then it just expanded. You know, the wolf pack actually named themselves. I don't remember exactly the specific person that mentioned it. It was a group. And this is like three years ago, four years ago, even. And they were like, you know what? We need a name. And I was like, okay, come up with something. And they're like, wolf pack. I'm like, okay, that sounds cool. <laughs> <laughs> the wolfies. Oh, Kathy, you haven't used Kai scissors yet. You'll have to try them. Yeah. So I'm just curious, uh, all of you watching, since I'm collecting your comments for giveaway anyways, how many pairs of Kai scissors do you have? One, two, on the bucket list to add it to your collection? <laughs> I guess I'll ask that. Oh, Lillian, you read my mind. She has eight. Good That's job. I love I love going to shows and people are like, oh, I already have them all. I'm like, there's no way <laughs> that you have them. <laughs> And if you have one, you need another because somebody's going to come and use them and you're going to be like, what happened to my scissors? Yeah, Janelle got a pair when she was here. Crystal has 11. Wowzer. Yeah, that's a, that's a commitment. <laughs> that feels like someone that's been oh. at a trade show. <laughs> so my sister, Julie, I think is in court today. She was going to, I forgot to tell her, remind her that I should text her because, okay, Dottie says you're nice. So... They have knives. And as you know, I'm not anything in the kitchen except for making coffee. But my sister, Julie, is one of the best cooks, chefs, call whatever you want, ever, ever. And so one day she's talking to Jeff and she says, I want a spatchcock knife. And I was like, that sounds dirty. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. <laughs> she got one yeah. and a whole set of knives that are absolutely the best knives she's ever used in her whole life. Yeah, uh, we have we have a wide variety. Um, you can find ones with colors. You can find ones that have little dimples on the edge so things won't stick to it. We got our wasabi line, which is kind of our, I would say our best standard ones that we have. Um, but then if you're really looking to upgrade, um, there's a, Kai is a, a, a big umbrella of, of companies. And um, under that, one of them is Shun. S-H-U-N. And if you know high-end knives, then you might know Shun. Um, just unbelievable, sharp knives, beautiful to look at. Um, yeah, so we kind of covered the gambit. <laughs> you know, I think um, she might not answer, but maybe she's on lunch break at court. <laughs> Jeff, <laughs> Jeff just got jury duty. <laughs> Jeff just had jury duty with Joe. No, he hey, Joe. Wait, we have jury duty together? Yeah, no. so hey, Joe, um, I'm here with Devin from Kai. By the way, it's uh, Jeff's birthday, so he's not here. He's flying. Well, he's trying to fly with all the flights. Well, I was going to say, he ain't flying. His ass is sitting on a runway somewhere. <laughs> BW, we're Facebook Live right now. <laughs> oh, you should have started with that. <laughs> hey, Julie, don't. <laughs> All right, Devin, can you hear her okay? Because um, yeah, yeah. we're talking about Kai Scissors, but we're talking about the knives. And oh you. Oh, my goodness, the knives are amazing. Yeah. I was trying to explain that you started with the spatchcock knife 
And then I was there when you spatchcocked the chicken. And I was like, I didn't even know you could do that. But um, what is the brand? What was that last brand you just mentioned, Devin? It was Shun. S-H-U-N. Is that the ones that you saw when you were in Europe? I think so, because I, I took a picture and I texted it to Jeff. Yeah. And they were so expensive. I mean, they were crazy expensive. Yeah, they are. Oh, my expensive. God. Yeah. yeah, we were in, um, what's the super expensive? Harrods. We were in Harrods. And um, which, by the way, I saw a $5,000 sweater that had Swarovski crystals sewn all over it. And all I was thinking is that looks like a craft project gone wrong. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> but, you know. So like I was going to spend $5,000 for that. Yeah, <laughs> so that's where we were and in London. And I so I took that picture and texted it to Jeff. And oh my goodness, they were amazing. So um, one, the one that I use for spatchcocking is like more of a, it's not a cleaver because a cleaver has a flat edge. It, it So it is, but it's a very thick steel knife. And I can cut through a chicken with one zip through the spine like i can cut through the chicken spine now cutting through the turkey spine for thanksgiving <laughs> took a lot more work because you know it bird. was a 20 pound bird but um there you go i also have a set that jeff sent me of the thinner knives that and those were the like the ones that i saw at harrods in london yeah oh, that sounds awesome well i knew you'd be the the knife queen and so thanks for answering i know you are had a busy day so by the way the wolf pack saying hi to you oh well i'm really tell them i apologize for saying a bad word because angie didn't tell me that i was on facebook Live. <laughs> yeah welcome to my life oh, <laughs> yeah, so, but those knives i mean i have a smaller knife and that like the set of knives i have and i keep them on a um magnetic wood cutting board so it's a piece of wood that has a strong magnet inside. So all of my knives, like they're not on top of each other because they nick up. Um, so they're all on this board. And so I could just take the handles and pull them off the board. So they're actually on my kitchen counter, but they are the most amazing knives. I rarely have to sharpen them and I can chop anything. And you know how much I love to cook, Ange. I think they are just the greatest things ever. I said you're the bomb when it comes to that. So, yeah, so I've used them all, and Lloyd always puts them uh, specially aside for me to hand wash them, and he won't touch them because those are the super sharp knives. <laughs> They'd be in a separate container in my house. Hey, Jules. They're thanks. in the drawer that says you cannot have a glass of wine before using these knives. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Jules, love you. Thanks for thanks for answering. Love you guys. Have a wonderful time, and I can't believe I'm missing the wolf pack, man. I know. I, I That's why I called you. See ya. Bye. Bye. <laughs> the, the, that, so we all need one of those knife drawers. Don't have a glass of wine and open this drawer. That's so true. Hey, Carino has a good question. Do you have any spring-loaded scissors for those with arthritis? Um, so no, we don't. Um, what we what we focus on heavily, especially with our professional scissors, is just the smoothness of opening and closing the blades. I know um, I've talked to a lot of people. I know it is helpful or, you know, it's helpful to have something open um, instead of, you know, having to open it yourself. Um, just that extra action is more effort for those um, tendons and things than it is to actually close. It's a little easier action for you. Um, but with with our uh, professional scissors in particular, um, you'll notice on these guys, they're stainless steel um, and there's kind of a grain to them. Um, we try and make it super smooth, um, but just the way that stainless steel is, there's always going to be that grain, and so it's adding extra friction. Um, with the professional ones, um, we have a little coating on here um, to make it perfectly smooth, um, effortless to close. Uh, we also put a tensioning washer up on there as well, just so there's a little bit of float in the uh, the pivot there to, again, just give you you know, less pressure when you're opening and closing. And then I should mention too, that we have a locking nut on top. So you have a one nut on the bottom and another one locking that one in place. Um, and that's just so once you find the tension you like, you can keep it there. And um, with with our scissors, you can adjust them too. So if you're like, how this feels a little tight, you can go ahead and loosen that up, um, give it a test, see that it cuts still and uh, kind of find the tension that works for you. So. You know, I've used a lot of different pairs of scissors, and these are very smooth, very smooth. 
Now, I've had a few people say that my huge pair was a little too heavy for them. I guess I'm just used to it. But they're, I mean, these are, they're not stiff. They're not sticky. I guess I don't even, I found that some of those that had the spring were actually harder on my hand because you're pushing that spring down. So, yeah. I just, so you, got, you got to fight the spring down, but then it's going to help you open it. So if, right. if you're wanting just an overall smoother experience, then ours is probably the way to go. But if you really do have that trouble with opening the scissors and hurting your thumb that way, then yeah, maybe you have to look somewhere else. But we, like I said, we try and make it as smooth as possible and they're adjustable. Um, so if you need to loosen it up a little bit and give it a try, you can do that. Absolutely. Gene wants to know, can I send my Kai scissors back to you for sharpening? You can. Um, we we don't have a, the largest sharpening department. So uh, when we get back up. <laughs> that would be you, right, Devin? <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, it's me, uh, Matt, and then my brother. Um, so yeah, so when we do get backed up, um, you can, you know, be put off by a couple of weeks before you're going to get your scissors back. Um, so we always try to just communicate, you know, if you if you have someone local that you trust, you can send them to them. Um, but yes, you can send them into us. We charge ten dollars per pair of scissors, and uh, that includes the shipping shipping back to you. Perfect, Charlene. When I use my scissors, they're bigger than her on the screen. They are. I'm like on all of my It's So Easy episodes. I'm like, give me my scissors. They, it's got to be the big pair. I'm just so used to just doing that all over the dress form. <laughs> I was gonna say, I, I get a lot of people that come. You know, they've seen their teacher in class, and they come out from there, and they're like, oh, I want the 11 inch, just like my teacher had. And I'm like, let's let's try a couple. <laughs> and yeah. I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, that might be a little bit big for me now that it's actually in my hand. <laughs> Oh yeah, Lisa, I forgot about that. The pinking blade for the rotary cutter. Yeah, I so I got some <laughs> got some not great news about those. Uh, <laughs> so we have <laughs> we have pinking blades and we have wave blades um, for a limited time. Uh, okay. That that uh, we've had it for for a long long time, um, but it's not something that does particularly well, and um, the company just doesn't see the value in it. We're, so that people are people know we're the u.s distributor for kai scissors um kai is its own company in japan um they make their own decisions and so we can beg and plead like we have done with pinking shears and with those scissors that have the curve um to keep those around for us um but those those pinking blades and those wave blades that we've had for many years now are, are going to be going away so uh we're getting oh, what no. we have left of their stock yeah you so. do know what's going to happen now it's going to be a run. The yeah. Warcraft is going to be at KaiScissors.com ordering every last blade because all you have to do is say it's going away and it's going to be yeah. like panic. What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it, it's unfortunate. I mean, it's it's nice to have it's nice to have that to fill in the gap for the people, especially people that have arthritis problems, right? Um, mm -hmm. Pinking blade. Um, just to have that option instead of having to use pinking shears. But, yeah. Absolutely. Hey, oh, hey, Celeste, thanks for that comment. I have terrible arthritis and can use their scissors. So that's good to know. Yeah. Oh, somebody wants to know, this was a great question. Is there a coded, where did this go? I just saw it. They wanted to know, Sandra. Hey, Sandra, she's part of the Fashion Sewing Club. Is there a secret decoder ring chart for your? Is there a secret decoder ring chart for your scissors best for thicker fabrics versus sheer, etc.? Um, no, <laughs> not, not, <laughs> not that I'm aware of. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I don't have a chart. Um, uh, but typically, if uh, it comes down to what's comfortable in your hand, you know, are you able to do what you want to do with it? So if you're doing little detailed things, you're going to want a smaller pair of scissors. If you're got a thick piece of material, you don't want these little, little tiny blades working on a <laughs> piece of material. Um, so it, it's up to the individual a little bit. Um, but also we do have, you know, if you're going for some serious, serious fabrics, we do have scissors that are made specifically for that. Um, this guy is a 7240 AS and we were talking about serrated earlier and I forgot to bring this guy up. Um, but this guy has serration on the bottom blade as opposed to the other one that has it on that top blade. Um, and basically what that's going to do for you is if you're cutting um, Kevlar or carbon fiber, something really tough, um, it's going to give that extra friction. Um, the reason that we put it on the top on our general fabric scissors is you don't need that much extra grip. Um, so if you want to do slide cutting and things like that, we slide, cut, slide, cut. It's going to be super easy for you. It's not going to get caught up because the smooth blade is on the bottom. Um, for those, for people using this guy on something like that, 
not going to be as comfortable just because um, the serration is on the bottom. But if you need it for that carbon fiber, um, things like that, um, it, it's almost something that is necessary to have. That's awesome. That, that everyone, I'm just reading. Okay, Delaney, I was wondering why you hit the angry comment. I'm looking up here going, who put the angry <laughs> face? Delaney put the angry face. She said, oops, that's not what she meant. Okay. <laughs> I feel much better now. <laughs> oh gosh. She wanted to say that uh, my Angela, she has my huge scissors and love them. Well, that's, that's good news. You can leave the angry face up there. <laughs> I have, I've done that before. It's so close to the love button. <laughs> well, yeah. That didn't sound good. <laughs> the love button. <laughs> love boat. <laughs> oh, oh, here you go. Daddy says they sell a really sharp fish knife for filleting. Yeah. Now, I did not know that. Yeah. So, um, so generally on a fish knife, you want something with a single bevel. So flat on one side and then this just one edge. So, you know, typically a knife is sharp on both sides. Um, but a fish knife or a traditional fish knife is flat on one side and then just a single edge. Um, but yeah, so we have the Deba, which I think is might be what your sister was referring to um, when she's talking about spatchcocking, because that's a really thick knife that's going to be able to handle. Uh, but then we also have, you know, some smaller ones with like a nice, nice curved blade on there. Um, cannot think of what the number is it's blue <laughs> it, but yeah it's a utility utility scissor is probably the easiest way to find it on our website if you search utility you'll have a few options okay what is this amanda how are you amanda's going to be on the new show too um she's going to work on a refashioning challenge with amy it's going to be super fun so amanda uh wants to know do you make a pelican build pair of scissors is that like the duck build <laughs> is yeah, that the same that, thing or is yeah. pelican different yeah, we do not. Uh, we don't make that, but yeah, duck build, pelican build, um, all those guys are, are the same. Um, and the Amanda, you got me on that one. I never even heard of those. Yeah. Um, so basically, that double curve scissor that that Angela showed off before, where it curves down and then away. Um, those guys are kind of our competitor to the duck build. Um, the thought process behind that is if you are um, working inside a hoop, which is commonly where that kind of scissor is used. Um, you're going to not have to worry about running the duck bill into things. Um, and um, the, I guess the little bit of a downside to ours is that you can cut too close to the seam, right? With the, with the pelican or the duck bill, um, it's going to give you just a little bit of clearance. That's pretty consistent um, with ours. You can just depending on how you hold your scissors with a little bit of angle, you can adjust how much or how close you're going to get to that, that seam. But there is the chance that you could cut right next to that seam and it's not going to hold like you'd want. So, just, that's awesome. Sorry, I'm too honest around here. <laughs> no, we're really. That's why. That's why we like you. That's why we buy from you too. Um, Marsha wants to know: Can I send in my little ones for sharpening too? Well, how little? Yeah. So. So yeah, if we're talking those guys right there, um, just inside baseball, what happens with those guys? Um, we tell you, yeah, go ahead and send them in. Um, if we're going to see us at a show, I would prefer that. That would be the best case scenario. Is bring it, bring it to me a show. And I will sell you a new one for the cost of sharpening. That way we're not dealing with you paying to ship it to us, which, you know, $10 of sharpening, you pay to ship it to us. That's going to be another two bucks. You're almost at the point of buying a new pair of scissors. So we say, bring it to me at a show. I will go ahead and just give you a new one for the price of sharpening. Um, and then if you do send it to us 90% of the time, instead of sharpening it, we'll just send out a new one. Um, because again, cost wise, you know, it's not that big of a deal. I'm cracking up. Everyone is in a strong consensus that your scissors are very sharp. It sounds like there's a lot of DNA rolling around some of these sewing studios. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, I've I've heard uh, heard some horror stories. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, do I have their website? Yeah. So Kim, it's Kai Scissors. I'll put it in here. There we go. Kai Scissors. <laughs> right there. Look at his shirt. There you go. That's the web address, guys. And then if you want any Angela Wolf ones, you have to go to my website for that and then use the coupon code capital KAI15. Fashion Sewing Club, you've got your own. Um, he knows his scissors. I agree, Kim. Yeah. Oh, Delaney's going to be in Puyallup. Wonderful. Oh, awesome. I just, I just got a brand new niece named Delaney. <laughs> you, oh, really? Yeah, my brother had a baby. Yeah. All right. Oh, congratulations. What, what was the date? 
Uh, I mean, we're talking back in <laughs> by just uh, back in July, uh, middle of okay, July. So yours is a little bit. My sister had hers in November. So oh. I'm just trying to see if it was close. So <laughs> I'll remember your little one's birthday. Then you can help me remember yeah, mine. Sure. <laughs> um, Elizabeth wants to know, are you going to be at the Expo in Cleveland in April? Um, no, we will be in Paducah in April. So Paducah, that's a big one. Yeah. Yeah, we kind of we kind of do one show a month, um, <laughs> and we've we've tried out a few new shows this last year, and they they didn't turn out to be particular particularly good. Um, so if you saw us at a new show last year, there's a chance we might not be at that one again this year. Um, but for those kind of staples, the big shows that we've been going to forever, we'll, we'll be right back at those guys. That's awesome. Well, that'll just, you know, sometimes when there's so many, then everybody kind of disperses. Now it's just kind of like this show, <laughs> Quilt yeah. Con, Houston Quilt Fest, you name it. Those are like, uh, so by the way, there is a contest going on for those of you going to the Sewing Expo. So you can thank the Sew Expo for that. The class, the class is open today. Do not delay in signing up, even if it's not my class, if it's somebody else's, you want to make sure you get in there. I'm going to just share this link real quick because we're going to be drawing, let's see, is it tomorrow or Friday? I think uh, it's tomorrow. I don't know. I'll check. But um, I didn't want to draw today because I knew a lot of you would say, wait, I didn't even know about it. So here is the link. It was in the newsletter last week that came out like 12 hours later than it was supposed to. But that's beside the fact. So <laughs> the sewing and century, they're giving two four-day passes. So we're going to draw two people. So if you're going to go to that, you want to sign up for this because um, I'll draw hopefully a lucky winner, two lucky winners uh, tomorrow or Friday. I cannot remember. Let me see if it says it in here. I don't want you to like go back in there Friday and I told you the wrong thing. Oh, you have till Friday. So for all of you that are not watching live and you're watching this tonight or tomorrow, you have until Friday at noon and I will post the winner on Facebook. Everybody's saying love their guys, love their guys. I totally agree. Uh, where's their booth, Kim? It's going to be in Puyallup. It's going to be right in the middle. Can't miss it. Yep, right in the big complex there. We'll be, if you're coming in the main entrance, uh, we'll be on the left side. April says she's sticking up for the East Coasters. She highly recommends your scissors. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I would say, so I, I had mentioned before that I lived in North Carolina and how I got started with Kai was I was talking with Jeff and I was having a baby and I was going to name him Kai. And I called Jeff because I knew him back when I lived here. Uh, spent, I grew up here in Washington. Anyway, called him up and said, hey, I'm going to have a kid named Kai. And he's like, I'm buying, <laughs> buying a company and all they sell is Kai. I'm like, I need a real job because I work at the YMCA. Anyway, so, <laughs> so. <laughs> hey, that's a real job, though. That's a great job. It is a real job. It's a great job, but yeah, it wasn't uh, with my wife wanting to stay home. It wasn't going to pay that bill. So, <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, I uh, started out just working out in um, in North Carolina. Started my own my own company, showing off Kai scissors and going to quilt stores and trying to get them to buy and doing trade shows out there. Um, so yeah. Uh, I just, I just ran into a lot of people who are like, who are you? <laughs> you know what though? That really makes a difference. And now with so many virtual events that really gets the name out there even more. And like I said, in 2008, when I got those fabulous scissors in the bag, I just thought they were just like scissors. I didn't know they were anything special until I went back to the show and saw all the awesome scissors and saw that they weren't like $10. <laughs> hey, by the way, I don't know if you've been watching the screen. But there's unanimous comments about they want more pink, teal, and purple. So who do we have to inform about that? <laughs> you can go ahead and just, uh, if you want to go over to our Kai set, our, uh, let's go to our Kai. Um, actually, you know what? Jeff probably checks our Instagram more. Yeah, let's go with the Instagram. If you go check out Kai Scissors on Instagram and just start spamming comments on our stuff there that you want that um, and put the pressure on them, go ahead. <laughs> um, and make sure that you say, here, I'm going to I'm gonna put a link. Make sure you say you want Angela, the, and the wolf pack. The wolf you want pack. the wolf pack, pink, purple, and, and teal, or whatever color you want. You pick it. <laughs> Let me see if I can find the Kai Scissors on here. I'll, I'll drop it in here because um, maybe we'll... I'll have to get with Jeff. I'll have to do something fun on Instagram. I don't think, you know, I've been so bad at Instagram. Yeah, I so, haven't even posted in, since Christmas when I made the little onesie. I've just been too busy and I didn't really, it, 
I just wasn't in the mood. You know, do you ever get in that mood? Like you want to share and then you don't want to share. And then you're like, oh my gosh, did I really share that? <laughs> so just out of my personal, so many hats here, um, out of my personal who I am. I, I just don't post a lot. And so I'm also somewhat in charge of Instagram. Um, and so there hasn't been a post on there in a very long time. So <laughs> uh, I looks good, though. I'm looking at it right now. It looks great. You Oh, yeah, you haven't. You said yeah, social 2020 up. So you're worse than I am. <laughs> I know, yeah, it's been it's been bad. I mean, we were going there for a bit. We had pretty consistent posts and stuff and we're collaborating with people. But then, uh, yeah, kind of fell off. So <laughs> Okay, so a couple of things. Everyone wants your hat. We have to work. Oh, oh well, we have to come up with your proud member of the Wolfpack hats. But um, Donna wants to know: Do you have a bundle with all the scissors? And your your one package. I saw a lot of people say that they actually had that. I think they were purple scissors. Are they your dressmaker scissors? Where there's three of them in there. So uh, the purple one in particular is a serrated set. So that's the GSP. Um, okay. It's the purple. That's what the P stands for. Um, Anyway, so that guy has has a uh, five inch, I want to say, uh, yeah, five five inch, a six and a half, and then a eight inch um, scissor, all serrated. Um, and then we also have the GS one, the GS two, GS three, GS four. Um, those guys have anywhere from four inches up to eight inch scissors. And then we also have our professional set, um, and that guy is the GS seven, the GS eight, or the GS nine. And those guys um, have kind of the same, same sizes. One of them, uh, the GS7, uh, no, sorry, the GS8 has the, now I'm going through all the sets. GS9 has the nine inch in it. That makes sense. <laughs> sorry. The GS9 has a nine inch instead of the eight inch. So if you want something a little bit bigger, um, you can find that in that set. Yeah. That There you go, guys. And also, you know, one of the best places is if you can stop by the booth, you can see them all, you can test them all. It's awesome. Yeah. Exactly. We, I mean, we have all the gift sets put out there um, at the shows. Our gift sets are actually reduced price from what you'll find online. Um, and uh, yeah, you can go ahead and put, get it in your hand, see what feels right. You know, a lot of times with these larger scissors, it's not just, okay, I got the handle, you know, that feels right. Well, what blade length do you want? Do you know, is it comfortable to have something hanging out here or do you want something a little bit shorter? Um, my wife in particular, she likes the uh, the eight inch because it has a smaller handle and then the blade, you know, is a little bit shorter. It's got a nice balance for her. Whereas I like the nine inch, it's got the same size handle, um, but then the longer blade, same length actually as the 10 inch blade. So you can get the longer scissor with a smaller handle. Uh, but yeah. That's awesome. All right. I, you know, I have to be honest, Devin, there's... <laughs> Everyone's saying, actually, yeah, actually, my sister did use a, a bad word on here. <laughs> it wasn't too terrible, though. Trust me, it could have been way worse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, the seam ripper. That's awesome. So, yeah, we have um, a few of those, yeah. There are so many comments. I'm scrolling nonstop, and I'm not even to, like, 2 o'clock yet. Oh, my gosh. Um, <laughs> but... We're running out of time. So if you've made a comment today, you are in the drawing that we're going to do. So uh, i just making sure there aren't any big questions for him. Oh, here's one. April wants to know, Do you, what, which serrated scissors, scissors would you recommend for cutting vinyl for embroidery? Vinyl? Vinyl. Vinyl for embroidery. I use my kind of serrated scissors for vinyl, but I need to check to see which blade is serrated. Um, so generally when I'm talking about vinyl, I don't even know if I'd necessarily suggest serrated. Um, I don't think that um, with that material, it really particularly pushes out. If you um, if you are looking for, if you're dead set on serrated, there's a couple of different options, um, just depending on how big it is. Um, you can go with something like a curve. Um, we have scissors like these with a curve. Um, it's a 5135C serrated. Um, oh, and I should mention, if you go on our website and you like any of those scissors, but you wish it was serrated, just put it in the comments down the bottom, uh, serrate please. And we'll go ahead and serrate it for you. So any scissor you see on our website, we can serrate. Um, but yeah, so we have the, the guy about this size with a curve. Um, even if you want to use something this size uh, for vinyl with serration, you can do that as well without a curve. Um, and then depending on the number of layers you're doing, um, I don't really see this very often, but you could use our bigger scissors. But yeah, typically I'd say the smaller, the smaller scissors 
<clears throat> would be the way to go. Uh, just not the teeny, teeny, tiny guys. There you go. I would agree on that. That's rated with vinyl. I would just use, I would use my monster scissors. <laughs> I call them the monsters. I'll rename them for you. <laughs> All right. So are you, uh, what should we give away? Should we give away? Um, <clears throat> well, <laughs> See, I need to send it to you. Um, let's no, I'm just sending the address. You just keep it. And by the way, Perfect. Kevin's leaving Friday, so you might not get it for like a week. All right. Um, let's shoot for two things then. Um, since you already do, you do some pink scissors with your. Oh. Logo. Let's do a three piece set of of our pink scissors with your logo on it, and then we can also do a um, three piece set. We'll do the GS seven of our professionals with your logo on it. So we can do that as well. Those are really good. Yeah. Oh, can I make a comment? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I see. <laughs> so, Char Your Charlie, the <laughs> Charlie, the website is just below. You can see um, right after it says join the Fashion Sewing Club. I'm reminding you that that pattern launches in two weeks. You don't want to miss it. And Fashion Sewing Club membership increases in February for new members. So, uh, hop in there. And then you can see kaiscissors.com. And if you want the Angela Wolf logo ones, those are on my website. You can use the web, the coupon code capital KAI15. And Fashion Sewing Club, you have your own discount in the Fashion Sewing Club. Oh, yes, Robin, she did get those scissors. That was a long. So, by the way, Devin, I don't know about, but when you, when you ship overseas sometimes, it gets so crazy expensive. Yeah. Yeah, it can be, especially, I mean, the, the shipping that we see, uh, so we do send it off to Australia sometimes or even just Canada. Um, the shipping cost on our side is not terrible, um, but by the time you pay, once you get the scissors and you deal with the all your government's costs, expenses for bringing it into the country, yeah, it can get a little bit more expensive. So um, I know in Canada specifically, we got HA Kid up there. Um, that sells Kai scissors. Um, you might have to do some fishing around for, for Kai dealers in Australia, though, or, you know, other countries. Uh, there's, I should say that if you're in Europe, Kai Europe, uh, they have their own, their own oh. wing of stuff out there, too. Gonzo. Oh, that's interesting. You don't get the AW logo, though, and you don't get Devin's right. hand doing the AW logo. There's, like, a bonus to that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jennifer, that's hilarious. My scissors, she's got the big pair. They call it the Godzilla scissors. She that's a good know. name. I that's love it. <laughs> that's hilarious. All right. Well, let's not delay. Let me um, remove this screen real quick. By the way, here's the pattern in case you missed it. This is what's launching in two weeks in the Fashion Sewing Club. Uh, it's supposed to be it's supposed to be a dress. It's a little short, but that's all right. For the pictures, it works. All right. So let me get that out of here. I've got our little handy dandy. Uh, come on, stop. I need a, it's right behind the camera. Sorry. Here we go. Uh, so by the way, we were just talking about their Instagram, which is right here. There's their Instagram. Go here <laughs> right now. You have 26, 2,621 followers. Let's go there and bump that over 3000. You got to get over 3k. So That's everyone. <laughs> yeah, and, and if you're not on my Instagram, go to mine too. But uh, we'll have to do like a fun thing before the expo to get our Instagram rolling. We'll force ourselves to post on there. <laughs> All right, so I think, let me just take this down. I've got the contest up. It's been collecting comments the entire time. I gave you the giveaway link. It's in the link. And let's draw. Want to do the pink ones first? Yeah, let's do that. Pink ones first. Monica Gerard. Congratulations, Monica. Guess what? Ooh. Monica so deserves these. She's going to help write the music for my show. Oh, awesome. So, Monica, <laughs> I didn't even know that. It's kind of like a bribe. <laughs> <laughs> Monica, congratulations. Uh, you were first. So... You can choose between the pink or you let me know. And then the other set will go to the next person. So Monica, if you want the pink set or the other set. Is that fair? Is that yep. Sounds good to me. I mean, I'll just send Sounds it good to me. Oh, look at this. Monica's like, yay. Yes. And I know she has a beautiful voice because she was here playing 
while they were by studio, we're sewing and her, her husband pulled out the guitar and they sang. It was like the best day ever. Uh, Amanda, yes, it does help in the contest to make a lot of comments because you just get more little categories. <laughs> Everybody's saying already there. Awesome. Okay, Monica, which one do you want? I see you in here. You want the, she wants the professional one. So which one's that? The other one or the pink? The GS7, yeah. That's All right, the... Monica, you get the GS7. <laughs> Monica, fantastic. All right, let's 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 draw again. So I'll bring this back up. <laughs> I need my little drum roll. Don't you have any sound effects, Devin? I don't. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not <laughs> a streamer. I don't do this every week. Happy, <laughs> Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Janelle Stevens. Congratulations, Janelle. I think she was commenting on here. I need a pair. You yeah. Have, she has. She has the pink, she has this pair right here because oh. I gave her them as a gift when she came to the studio. So now you get more matching pink, Janelle. Awesome. More matching pink. Oh gosh, Devin, you're awesome. Thank you for doing so that. Great. I was gonna say, it's so great that you know your people. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know I do. It, you know what? Uh, as I scroll through names, a lot of times after the live shows, the next day I'll scroll through because I can't see all the comments. Yeah. And I just get to know the people. And you know, yeah. we have, one of the best, we've got Angelo of Patterns Group, which is free. And then we have the Fashion Sewing Club, which is a membership. But I mean, the communities that we've made are amazing. It gives me chills. Like I just, it's, it's such an honor. Yeah. And the coolest part is we have people like you and Jeff to work with that give great products. Yeah. And you guys are so generous to the fans, which is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> They're well, all saying thanks. Congrats, congrats. All right, Devin, this was awesome. So we will plan on, we'll have to come up with something fun to do before the expo. We got a whole month to plan something cool. Yeah, yeah. But in the meantime, class is open today. If you want to take my classes, I encourage you to sign up quickly because that morning class is all on machines. I made sure it was 8 to 1030, so I didn't miss out hanging out in the booth, number one. And two, uh, it wouldn't interrupt some of your other classes. I, I wanted to get it nice and early. And it's a hands-on, so you're going to get so full of information. So that's Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Then there's another class on Friday at 1.30. And then another class at Saturday, 2.30 to 4. And the giveaway is in your booth mm -hmm. at 4 p.m. on Thursday, 4 p.m. on Friday, and 4.30 on Saturday. Oh, can't right. wait. Well, Devin, thank you for the awesome giveaway. I'll email you their addresses. Okay. And Kathy. Taylor, I know you're in here. I'll try to actually copy and paste the addresses. I accidentally put Trisha Barber's address to Kathy. So <laughs> Kathy got a different gift last week. So nice. you never know. <laughs> it's called multitasking. Yeah. So uh, Devin, your people can call my people. How's that? <laughs> I will email you. <laughs> <laughs> and I will reply. Yeah. All right, Devin, thank you so much. Tell Jeff happy birthday from the Wolfpack. And thanks for always being so generous to us. Yeah. No problem. Thank you guys. Thanks for having us on here. <laughs> All right. See ya.